Hello there everybody and welcome to my channel again. Uh, this is a video uh, that has been requested to me by one of my viewers and uh, of course I always happy to oblige. Uh, it's a video about the Junior 60, the 1949 model I built recently and flown for about six months and uh, it's uh, on how to get the nose down. Yeah the nose down sorry yeah practically uh, you need to have a bit of invention uh, you have to have a bit of fantasy there when you arrive up to the nose because the nose has been like built and drawn up only uh, for either accommodating like a, a, an IC engine or a brushed engine with uh, its uh, own gearbox, a master gearbox and NACAD uh, um, battery so that's the version of electric which is a bit outdated. I put on it an um, actual uh, thumper from uh, uh, Overlander a motor which is 3505 and it's 1500 kV and a, a 40 ampere uh, ESC and that's it and then I, I, I put instead of the battery I use the battery compartment for ballast because everything is much more light during this day so it needs a lot of weight in the nose about a quarter of a kilogram for me was and uh, uh, at the same time I also put my battery somewhere else but let's go nearby and I'll show you first of all the drawing and how it comes up. So yes uh, this is the drawing of it and the nose it, it requires some like a, a colorful construction uh, I will say like you know it requires a bit of improvisation because all the nose as you can see is made for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, NICAD uh, batteries with the brush motor and a gearbox, a master gearbox. So, which is like a <laughs> um, a bit outdated uh, to say the least. It has a speed controller sitting here. Uh, a speed controller doesn't get any of uh, like fl airflow or anything so it's going to like probably burn out after a while uh, so yeah it's not really well thought the RX is here and um, it's all shielded by the battery and so it's supposed to be a bit backwards somewhere there so this is what I did for the nose and everything all right so the model will look like that at the beginning this is my operator number don't worry I don't care if you see it um, you can, uh, just don't use it <laughs> on your models because otherwise if you get caught doing something bad it's uh, it's on me and it's my number <laughs> but anyway uh, so you got practically uh, to a point where you arrive at the final of the build which is like that this is the original build per the drawing and there about around here you have to fit a huge electric motor like we saw it in the drawing um, that wouldn't work if you use uh, a lipo and you use an ESC like that, like it's stuck there at the moment. But right there, that's where my ESC is. So what I did instead of like building it uh, like it was in the drawing, I put a half a centimeter. So this is a five mil um, firewall or motor mount, or what you want to call it, and I put it all the way forward. and I measure it so the actual. Um, motor will stick a bit out and will not coat in the fuselage. Um, I put the reinforcement at the back and here they are. There's four of them like that. These are made of balsa. You see this car a bit. 
uh, I put this big screw in it but yeah okay don't worry it's just me being too cautious this is hardwood and it's come with a with the actual uh, um, model so near the hardwood I stuck and cemented those things and cemented it to the firewall so it's all propped up there is four of them two here and two at the bottom I don't know if you can see the bottom is there okay then at the end once you build a cover for it you can let your fantasy going and put more ply more pieces uh, make it look like a, a real a real plane like this one yeah this is out of a of a what for <laughs> but more or less you give them a shape so it's aerodynamically correct let's put it this way uh, I didn't do a very good job because I wanted to fly it right away but you need something beefy there in order to pull the two or three kilos of the of the actual model which is big as you can see okay uh, the prop is a master screw and I can't read it but I think it's a uh, is the master crew screw uh, 12 by 7 12 by 7 there it is so it's quite big and it pulls it pulls the plane really well it does actually all right I hope you like that and um, yeah this one you can put uh, earth magnets here and there in order to get it going but I I prefer to have like a, a faithful uh, rubber band but you know if you want to be like all precise and everything and like uh, many people want to and of course it's all your choice earth magnets will do will keep it on this thing and underneath here you have all my ballast it's a quarter of a kilo here instead of the engine and the, and the batteries the batteries I put them here Okay. All right there. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you know how to build the nose, <laughs> or I have more ideas on how to build the nose of the Junior uh, 60. I hope you're all doing well in those uh, uncertain uh, periods. Blue sky to everybody. Keep it up. <laughs>